हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज लर्निंग टॉपिक इज चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फाइबर टू फैब्रिक्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवन फर्स्ट पॉइंट फ्रॉम कुकुन टू सिल्क रियरिंग सिल्क वॉम्स एंड प्रोसेसिंग सिल्क ओके फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज फ्रॉम कुकुन टू सिल्क Silk fibers obtained from cocoons are twisted to form silk threads called silk yarn. The silk yarn is then woven on looms into silk cloth by the weavers. The most common variety of silk is mulberry silk. Silk is a natural protein fibers some form which can be woven into textiles the protein fibers of silk is composed mainly of fiber and is produced by certain insect larva to larva to cocoons and for obtaining silk moths are reared and their cocoons are collected to get silk threads okay basically the rearing of silk worm to obtain silk fiber is called a sericulture okay and the people practice are called silk worm fibers okay next point is rearing silk worms a female silk moth lay hundreds of eggs at a time female silk moth lay hundred of eggs at a time a female silk moth lay eggs on leaves of mulberry plants okay and the eggs are stored carefully scraps of cloth or paper are sold to silkworm farmers okay and the farmer keeps eggs under favorable condition and under suitable condition for temperature and humidity and the eggs are warmed to suitable temperature for the larva to hatch from eggs this process is called caterpillar and silk worm okay and this is done when Mul mulberry trees bear fresh leaves and eat eats leaves day and night increase in size okay and the larva are kept in clean bamboo trays along with freshly chopped mulberry leaves after 25 to 30 days the caterpillar stop eating and move to tiny chamber of bamboo in the trace to spin cocoons 
the small trays or twins may be provided in trays to which cocoons gets attached it. and the caterpillar or silk worm spin the cocoon inside which develop the silk moth okay it is processing silk inside the cocoon caterpillar develop into silk moth and the cocoons are boiled or exposed to stream by doing so the silk fibers separate out this is done by special device here is one of them once the end of is obtained this unwind the fiber from cocoon warm on the reel okay and separating silk threads from cocoon of the silk worm is called reeling okay and the spinning of silk fibers produce silk worm or silk thread by weaving yarn and so produce silk fibers and then silk cloth can be formed okay there are different kinds of silk moths which produce different types of silk fibers difference arises based on structures coarse smooth or shiny appearance in silk fiber okay in india the sari culture majorly done in tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka jharkhand west bengal assam bodoland okay now chapter number 3 is over okay